And finally, new rules. Someone must explain why celebrities running for high office is a recurring nightmare we cannot seem to shake. The Rock, Caitlyn Jenner, Matthew McConaughey, Randy Quaid, they all have suggested lately that when it comes to running the country, they have what it takes. And they do. Malignant narcissism. Did we all not just witness the cautionary tale named Donald Trump? The last four years was a warning, not an inspiration. <laughs> you were supposed to see that and think, I guess high-level government jobs should go to people who've trained for it and know what they're doing. I'm sure Caitlyn Jenner is a nice person, but as California governor, she would be in charge of the world's fifth largest economy based on her qualifications of being a background character in a reality show not about her. <laughs> Randy Quaid, who you will remember as Cousin Eddie in the vacation movies and as Guy rooting through your recycling bin in real life, also says he might want to run our state. When did governing become the safety school for when the guest spots on Chicago Fire dry up? <laughs> we treat government like the lowest rung of celebrity. Rock stars, movie stars, TV stars, dancing with the stars, <laughs> magicians, congressmen. <laughs> governing... Governing is a difficult, nuanced job with people's lives and livelihoods at stake. Perhaps you've noticed that things in America have been a little different these last five months. That's because there are people back in charge who spent their formative years not on a soundstage, but studying the stuff you need to know to be effective on the world stage. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey is, I'm sure, also a lovely person, but when he says he's considering a run for governor in Texas, I must say that is not all right, all right, all right. <laughs> and I'm not saying that he and all these candidates haven't led lifetimes of glorious achievement. The Rock proved once and for all that weightlifters can drive. Matthew introduced Lincolns to stoners, and <laughs> Caitlin married the woman who married the guy who defended O.J. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not that they are actors, it's that they're not professionals in this other field called government. <laughs> this... <laughs> this guy was a rock star, but because he was good in his field of government. That's not you. <laughs> There's a... Th There's a thousand things you have to know before taking office to do it right. And I bet those people I mentioned who are now in charge, they know the answers to questions that will come up. They don't have to look it up or ask. Can our celebrity friends say the same? Could they tell us, oh, I don't know, uh, what is budget reconciliation? What are the three legs of our nuclear triad? What's TPP? What does the Fed do? Where's Chad? <laughs> what agency is responsible for our nuclear weapons? What does the 14th Amendment say? Who's the Prime Minister of India? In the event of another nuclear standoff with Russia or China, describe Kennedy's strategy that got us out of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Governing is not a job you can pick up on the afternoon of the inauguration. You can't learn it on the fly. You can't fix it in post. Putin's not on a green screen, and he doesn't give a shit about your million-dollar smile. <laughs> if
If he tells you at a summit that he'd like to take Belarus now, you have to know that's a country and not his lunch order. <laughs> no one has to tell Joe Biden what's in the Constitution. He was in the room when it was written. <laughs> I'm sure The Rock is a good guy and a bright guy. And that is not enough. Not enough. And frankly, the fact that he thinks he can step into the single hardest job in the world with no preparation tells me one thing for sure about his judgment. It's terrible. <laughs> you need more proof? Kanye West thought he could do it. The Rock says he might be the right man for the job because he believes he can unite the country. You can't. Why? Because the blue states and red states both like your stupid movies? <laughs> Let me put it bluntly to you and all these would-be showbiz candidates. You're not good enough, you're not smart enough, and doggone it, it completely doesn't matter that people like you. They like you now because you're an entertainer and thus largely uncontroversial. Governing is the opposite. If you think you can unite the country, you're delusional. A space alien attack couldn't unite this country. <laughs> the aliens would say, take us to your leader, and 70% of Republicans would drive them to Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> <laughs>